the info session. My name is Temitokwe Adiromo from the Department of Chemistry and I'll be anchoring this event. And I love everyone to kindly introduce themselves. I would like I'd like us to like unmute our mic one by one and briefly introduce ourselves, um, yeah, your name you and your department. Now, I Thank you. Up, so I think we should start from Absa and Yeah, I have to go now. It's okay, it's okay to me. You can go. I know it's busy. Bye, bye. Bye, take care. Bye. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Absa and Baba. I'm the Department of Education of the University of Lagos. And um, I'm currently the lead of um, CDSC in Iraq, um, event management team, and I have amazing members who are also part of this team who made these events possible. And I want to say thank you to everyone. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Afsa. So the next year is we have Peter Emmanuel. Peter Emmanuel, kindly unmute your mic and introduce yourself briefly, please. Okay, good evening. My name is Peter Emmanuel. I'm a 200 level um, student of UNILAG from the Department of Computer Engineering. And I'm glad to be here too. I hope I get something a lot from this um, event. Thank you. Definitely. All right, Toluala Share Adulojo. Can you unmute yourself? Okay, I guess she's not here. Tobilo Baadi Deji, can you introduce yourself? Uh, um, yeah, hello everyone. Um, my name is Toby, Toby, Toby Loba. You can just call me Toby for sure. Um, um, you can just call me Toby. I'm, I'm a 200 level computer science student. Uh, you know, like, of course, and um, I'm also like I'm also a content engineer, and uh, also I'm a member of like um, the GDS events team, and I'll be I'll be recording this event and have a nice meet you all. All right, thank you, Toby. Oh, good job, Yusuf Olani. Can you meet yourself and introduce yourself? I guess it's not here. Absolutely, can you kindly unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Absolutely, can you unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Okay, good evening, everyone. I am Abdullah Aparidi by name, and I am a model-level student, computer science in the University of Lagos. And I'm highly elated to be here, and I hope I gain something that going to be of great impact for me in this program. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Abdullah. So basically, I would love everyone to introduce themselves, but due to time, we have to move to the next phase, which is introduction to as to what's the event is all about why we are here, why we we, we made the name of the event info session. So the main goal of this event is to get informed about some certain things. As a team inclined info session to get informed, to learn, to contribute as and as to grow as one body and one association. So in the light of this, we have our guest speakers here with us and First on my list, I'll be introducing us to our first speaker. His name is Sadiq Akinjobi. Sadiq Akinjobi, popularly known as Geek Tutors, was an active member of Google Developer Student Club, University of Lagos. He was an undergraduate and he led the club in 2019 2020 session. And he's currently a community manager at Google 
And so giving us presentation on introduction to GDSC. So please, Sadiq Akinjobi, kindly unmute yourself and let's have you speak. Hi guys, uh, give me one sec. Um, okay, just give me. <clears throat> I'm trying to. My laptop is low, so I'm trying to connect another laptop uh, to the presentation. But I think I will just get started. Uh, let me stop sharing this and start sharing this. this. I saw it. It's 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 nice to have. Okay. So hi everyone. I'm excited. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I just really. Very president clubs. Uh, tell you what the program is about. Or my experiences. It's really great if everyone can be muted, by the way. But let me just mute my... So if you are speaking, I can't hear you uh, at all because I've muted the microphone. Uh, for context, I'm having this call. So I'm trying my best. And across the three different institutions. So you have to bear with me. So in line this question, because I want to give more time to answer questions. Maybe after my session, I'll drop off and I'll come back with type of questions. Um, and then uh, other places, I can access to them. Okay, so firstly, uh, my name is Sadiq Akin, fresh boy. I currently do developer relations at Google, meaning that I try to support uh, the activities of our, what's it called, of our, um, what's it called, guys? of Google Developer Student Club across the continent. So trying to make things happen. I like to share a bit of me, right? I started off as a GDSC member at one of the, that's one of the best, or University of First Church, the best school in, in, and then I became a GDSC mentor under Ebony Hope, uh, who currently works at Microsoft in Canada. and. After that, I got the opportunity to be selected as the lead for uh, Unilag in 2019. As you can see from the tweet here, yeah, that's August 3rd, no, August 8th or something like that, 2019. I got the opportunity and then sort of began the, sort of began that process. Somebody else in other school is arguing that the yeah, school is the best. <laughs> Sort of began that process, right, of getting the opportunity to inspire others, help them grow, and basically inspire our community. And I really loved it because, uh, and then between that 2019, uh, 2020, COVID happened, so a lot of us were at home. And then uh, I think after my tenure as DSC lead, the amazing Ifeo who was speaking with you guys, uh, Mira, uh, became the lead, did some amazing work. 2020, I was COVID. I think 2021, I eventually graduated. Uh, 2022, currently serving and whispering. Anyways, by the way. So, um, super love it. Uh, there's been some things that has helped me uh, along my journey. I'll share some of them with you uh, and introduce the program again for people that are just joining for the first time. Share some of those things and we'll take it from there. All right, so what exactly is GDSC, right? So GDSC is Google Developer Student Club, and it's really a community of group of students that are interested in technology. So whether you're interested in front-end web development, back-end web development, product design, uh, technical writing, all of those things again, please type the, the different fields in technology that you know in the chat so that I can list out some of them. So no matter that field of technology that you're interested in, right, uh, GDS is, a, is for you. And it really gives the student the opportunity uh, for you to grow your knowledge uh, and really have that impact in a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. So you're learning constantly, you're 
growing your knowledge amongst yourself, uh, with fellow students like you, and you are building solutions for local businesses and supporting your community. And the reason why we really look at GDSC, yeah, it's really like one of the programs that has been, because if you know, uh, at Google, we like killing. <laughs> Let me not say that way, but at Google, we discontinue products a lot. But one of the reasons why GDSC has stayed and sustained a period of time uh, is that it's really filling a gap in helping to bridge that gap between all the theory that you're learning in class and all the practicals that you're doing that you're doing uh, as part of the club. And you get things like access to tools, access to resources, access to skills, access to network that really help you to contribute to both your professional and personal development. Uh, and really the vision of the program is to impact students and empower you so that you can impact your community through technology so we need to look at how the different students and try to impact you so that you can also impact your community and some of the reasons why you should be a part of gdsc right um yes number one it sort of get that opportunity for you to network right so for example meeting somebody as big as the film uh somebody as big as uh, benjamin mashabino different uh, people from different part of the world is as a result of a program like this. You also get what the a place where you can sort of come together and share ideas and get feedback on your ideas. I've seen some really, really weird ideas, both from my time as GDSC lead, uh, from my time as mentors for different GDSCs, uh, and now as being part of the team that is working with GDSC lead uh, about ideas and feedback that first are like crazy ideas, but then you're getting feedback and you're iterating on those feedback to become better. And then you get the opportunity to learn from your peers, right? So whether you are learning a new skill or you are picking up a new skill or you are, you are trying to debug a problem, uh, GDS is one of the best places where you can do it. You also get the You also get the opportunity to uh, access to amazing speakers from Google and beyond. So whether you're speaking to somebody like someone like me or different Googlers, right, uh, and industry leaders as a result of GDSC. And then you get the opportunity to gain skills, uh, get all the tools and gain skills, uh, get tools and get developer resources, first-time developer resources that is very, very, First-time developer resources for you that is super helpful in helping and helping you to grow. Uh, also, you get access to, for some of you, I think for most people like me that is very shy like this, very shy, I don't like talking in public, GDS sort of provided that, no, I'm not shy, shy. GDS sort of provided an opportunity for you to get your first speaking engagement. So for some of you, a student in 300 level, and then you have to, maybe speak in front of an audience and train them in say Flutter or front end or back end or anything, right? Weird, but GDSC sort of help you to make that happen, right? Because you, that's your baby step before. And then we now see former GDSC students now go on to now start speaking at international conferences, international events. And then if you tie back their first experience in speaking, you will see that their first experience started from GDSC. Sorry, I think this laptop is low, so I need to switch. And I am switching now. direction he said his laptop is low so i have to chew for him to be back hope everybody's enjoying the introduction to gdsc by our past lead okay it's back
Okay, sorry about that. It's not easy to be using Sapa laptop. Okay, so where was I? I was sharing. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, we... Yes, yes, we can. All right, so uh, I was really looking at. So looking at what's it called? So looking at. Um, I think I spoke at speaking engagement. So I, I've seen people, and I can share real life example, right? I know somebody on this call was very shy. I think I still remember the first event that I asked her to speak at. She was very, very shy and said, no, she was not going to do. And now, uh, if you check those posters or most flyers, you see a picture wearing one weird glass inside it. And then you're wondering, ah, ah, I thought you were a shy person. And then you, you sort of get that opportunity, that first push, because you're a student, you're in school, uh, you can make mistakes in front of small crowds, right? So that by the time you now start speaking at big places, uh, it sort of presents you the opportunity. And to be honest, it's really a, an amazing opportunity. Uh, you also get to personal and professional growth. I know that you might have a lot of questions for me, which I'll jump to later, right? But you can tell that professionally, you can see the, the way growth has happened in my own personal life. And professional life as a result of being a part of PDSC. I think that some of the things that I have today, I might not have had the opportunity to be there if I was not a GDSC lead um, or member of GDSC at all, right? Uh, and then, of course, also getting things like uh, job or internship opportunities. So you've seen, uh, and I will share more on this. I think we have an announcement at the end of this, uh, at the end of my talk. I'll just give a quick announcement and uh, your leads will share more details with you. Uh, probably tomorrow on that. So you get access to uh, programs like, we learn more about programs like Google Summer of Code, Google Summer of Dogs, and different events like that, that a couple of that people have done, and then you can get first-time information because you're a part of this community to know how, you, you can get different opportunity to know how that works. Okay, so... Some of the things I want you to look out for, right? Uh, typical things, right? Because all of you have had GDSC before. Uh, number one is code labs. So whether it is in person code labs or virtual code labs, where you are coding along and learning something, uh, study jams where you're trying to come together and learn uh, a thing among which a group. So whether you're learning web or you're learning Android, I think I saw some people share a lot of things earlier. So machine learning, web, Android, all of that. Or whether it is even meetups like this and, and webinars like this, where you're just having a speaker speaking to you. But most importantly, solutions challenge. Firstly, I want to say that um, I'm not impressed, right, with the outputs that we have. Uh, the, uh, the two schools I'm speaking to, they are too good for us not to have a winner of solutions challenge from our campuses. And I, think, I hope that this is going to change uh, in this new year. Uh, and I'll quickly really talk more about solutions challenge and what it is and how you can really and how you can really understand how it works. So solutions challenge is really an annual contest, right? Where students from GDSC communities come and develop solutions to solve local community problems. So you can see this is the finalist from 2020, where some of my team members, Erica, uh, were, were just at the demo day, right? You, look at a local problem and then you pick one of the 17 UN SDGs and then you try to solve a problem in line of that. And students sort of come a group and then they build solutions together. So you have learned all of these technical skills, right? But how do you now put all these technical skills together to actually make something happen, right? And there are a lot of, what's it called? 17 UN, I, I, I've tried to list some of them out here. So for example, right? Um, University of Lagos, um, good health and well-being. Um, let's not leave each other's, let's not open each other's ears outside. But you get that uh, there's a lot of things that could be done about maybe the hostels, about the school, along the line of good health and well-being. So if you, there's a one that can be uh, along of that line, uh, whether it's a website, it's an app, it's a cloud technology, all of that, uh, that can make things of um, clean water and sanitation. We both know the state of water um, in, let me not call the, let me not call the school, that other school, right? 
uh, you come together and then try to see how you can solve different problems uh, in that angle. So putting all of the lens they have learned in terms of building, uh, in terms of learning, and now putting all those leadership lessons, project management lessons, your software lessons, and be amazing. And then of course, you can see things like, um, let me look up something that is even, partnership for the goals, peace, justice, and strong institution. Can really pick any idea that interests you. And the reason I'm mentioning it now, even though uh, social science starts in January, so that you can begin to prepare your mind and look at how to solve problems uh, in your school. So whether it is your facilities or it is the smelly hostels, uh, what that can be done to sort of solve some of those problems. And, and even if you do not necessarily mean the solutions challenge, right? There's a cash prize and some other benefits that come from winning, but you also get the opportunity to add that project to your CV. And we both know that when you are applying for internships, you're applying for job opportunities, the major thing that they are always asking for is so what can you do what can you do what can you do that's what everybody's always looking for so yeah and you are not alone right we have about 231 clubs in africa right now uh, in 30 plus countries and then we have about one five one thousand five i think clubs are across the world and it's really just important to It's really just important to know that you are part of a global movement. So even though what you are doing is local doings, uh, it's really a global impact. You have one of our leads that uh, you know she chants anytime she likes, from our leads goes anywhere she likes. We have um a garden going anywhere she likes. So that kind of global impact, right, is the sort of impact that even though what you're doing uh, is starting locally in your local community in your school that sort of having that global impact has been a part of the program and uh, i'm looking forward to reading all your stories i shared a part of my story apologies that i can't go into details even me i can't remember some of them but i think it will help a lot for you to share your story and to uh, whether you're tweeting about your story using the hashtag global student clubs or you're writing your story and submitting it to us uh, uh the form displayed on the screen looking forward to any any of your stories whether you're just starting out or you already started out and then you got a new opportunity you got an internship you got a job any of that looking forward to reading all your stories at a different point uh you can inspire the next person to push to the point that they want to get to uh, and back to the four main things that I think helped me move from 2019, uh, COVID, setback, and all of that, to 2022. Uh, the four major things that I think helped me were learn. There were a lot of learning in terms of technical skills, in terms of non-technical skills. There was a lot of building in terms of trying to make things happen, uh, building things, building tools. There was a lot of sharing, right, in terms of... Uh, thinking about it deeply and asking myself, so how do I share my work? How do I share my progress? Uh, how, do, how do I put myself out there? And there was a lot of growing, really in terms of, <laughs> I could see the growth in my personal life and my professional life as I continued to, to show up at different points. And, uh, Really, uh, it's their first season, right? Uh, I know that you might have heard of it before. This might be the first time of hearing of it. So their first, uh, they're having, they're doing something special this year for their first called GDSC at their first, meaning that we are looking to spotlight GDSC attendees at all the their first that we have across the continent. So if you can go to go.gle slash their first, I know that those of you in Nigeria, uh, they're striking your country, so you might you might need you might be able to attend the death fest in your city where you are based. For for my Ghanaian friends, you can attend. Just go to attend the death fest in your city, right? So uh, you can see all of the death fest uh, across the world, and if you want to travel to attend any of them, go the GLE at slash death fest. If you run into me at death fest, please don't be a stranger. Uh, welcome to me. Say hi, and looking forward to seeing all of you at the front there first. Um, finally, right, before I close out, um, just 
going to also announce that um, we are putting together a career panel, right? That really talks about how to get a job in tech. Sorry, my brain is so how to get a job in tech, right? So we're bringing some engineers from Bloomberg and uh, a senior HR professional from Play Africa, right? So just to come and answer that question around how to get started in tech. So look out for that information from your respective leads. Uh, it's on Wednesday at 7.30 GMT plus one. Uh, you know, actually by the ones holding us back. So once they share, we would, once they share, we'll, you'll be able to see the details and be able to RSVP. So looking forward to seeing all the amazing work that you're going to do over the next one year. And thank you so much for having me. Oh, All right, thank you so much, Sadiq Akinjobi. It was nice to hear from you, and we have been informed, and your presentation was really helpful and insightful. We look forward to seeing you at Death Fest and every other event. And I hope everyone has been able to keep up with one or two things from what Gig said. So next on my list is, on our speaker list is Ifeo Olusheye. So I would like to like introduce who Ifeo is. Ifeo is a software engineer and undergraduate of the University of Lagos. She has been an active member of GDSC. She led the club in 2020 2021 and she will be sharing our experience with us on how GDSC now that's offering our career group. So, if you kindly unmute yourself and speak to us, thank you. Sorry, Fridos, can you like mute your mic or something? Like, your, your cousin, like, yeah, thanks. Okay, um, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, so we have a few questions for you here. I hope you're ready for us if you are. <laughs> yeah, he, yes, I hope so too. <laughs> All right, so the first of my question is, is what is the most significant thing you remember gaining from being a part of GDSC? Well, um, there are a lot, there are a lot of different things because um, GDS has been part of like my growth. It's literally my growth in tech. It's surrounded by GDSC. So that uh, I will try to think of like the most significant part. I think the most significant part was when I joined as a new member. I was in my um, first year, second semester, and I was just um, I was I was just talking with random people and then the person was like, oh, um, do you know there's a uh, do you know that there's a Google club on campus and yes, I've always been a fan. Yeah, you know, what the person told me was there's a Google club. That's what the person and I was like, I'm mad though. Yeah, and cost me, I like I've been a fan of Google for a, for a while now. And I'm like, oh, how can I do that? Can I do? And then the person gave me the lead number of that time. And I chatted out, that was cool. Then I told her that I want to join, and then she sent me the link, and then I joined. I think that was like the most important part because looking at it in like retrospect, it's something that has really helped me, and it's kind of significant in my life. Yeah, so it's joining. Well, all right, thank you. So please, everyone, please unmute yourself and speak to us. And there's a Google form. You can drop your question for the speaker. Thank you. So, if you know, next question: Did the people at GDSC influence you in any way, positively or negatively? Yeah, yeah, positively. I mean, that's for sure. <laughs> it's it's a positive um, impact. No, uh, negative, negative, negative. Negative is a part of people's journey now. So. Yeah, but unfortunately, unfortunately, it's has not been part of my GDSC journey. It's always been positive for meetings, 
new people to retain like like um big people you know from it's like positive and like all around and i'm not trying to sell gbh you know this point i'm just giving my own personal experience with GDSC and that's why I'm like in, in love with the club because it has been a positive influence on me ever since I joined. If you are someone said how can they go to London or uh, <laughs> yeah, going to this yeah. house <laughs> <laughs> we, we should be I'm, I'm looking for the way so I, I, want ah. to, I want to go there one day. But uh, people are testifying that I bought like you know uh, I'm a mechanic. I want to be a <laughs> Okay, so next question. For how long have you been a part of GDSC? Uh, let me see. I think since 20... Since 2018. That's like right. four years. So going to four years day. now. Sorry? First year in school, yeah. Yeah, that was my first year in school. 2018. I entered 2017, but thanks to us, so I'm still in my first year. But I, I joined the club in 2018. Okay, was that was there a person that inspired you back then when you got into GDSC? When you, when you were just a fresher and then you used to look up to the person? Yes, yes. The person that inspired me. Yeah, there was someone I like looked up to like from afar before I knew the person. Yeah. Okay. What what are your most notable moments being a part of GDSC? Can you share your experience? I mean the tangible moments that you can remember as being a part of GDSC. So we can all learn from Okay, yeah, um, notable moments. I'll mention the ones that I remember from the top of my head. The first one was when I became lead. I mean, that one was like, was an eye opener for me. So it was, it was like, when you, when, like, you, when you became the lead? Yeah, for him. Then the second one was when I. I like attended my first ever event. I think my first ever event was PHW also. That was like my first event and I was glad I was able to see other people that were in tech and go to the about tech. Then um another notable event too was when I hosted an event. I mean that that day was just was not a pleasure good day at all, but I can still remember it. <laughs> so, uh, because okay. I like geek, the person geek, because I was scared of people. And okay, he, so, you knew, yeah. did you know, did you know geek before you, you knew Gabby? No, like, but they have been with GDS. Wait, you meant it? For one person, yeah. I went to meet GDS. It was, um, it was in the same department as me. So after, like, I don't know, I met him as civil shared one day in engineering. So yeah, that's, that's how I got to know him. All right, let's talk networking. So what was your sole purpose? Was it for you to network or you just wanted to be a part of the community? At that time, I was just starting out. That was like, I was just starting out, and my friends too, also, yeah. yeah, my friends too also, it was starting out, and because I wasn't on campus, I wasn't staying on campus, I used to come from the house, and they already told me about it, I was eager to know, I was eager to meet more people, uh, I was just looking for a community at that time, because I know that there are people that could, but are, you can't just, it's not like, as someone is working, you sit on their head that oh, I, I write code. Do. I wanted to like join the community. Just let me just feel that there are people that I can relate to. Then as time went on, I had to make so because after like joining a community to have that sense of belonging, that okay, 
if someone should ask me, oh, the thing is going to get half, then to network um, to know more um, people. Yeah, so it's like the community first, then the network first. So, so it's second. That works. So if you could go back in time, what advice would you give to your younger self? Well, the advice I give to my younger self is to go with the field because um, I noticed that I overthink a lot of things and it's really affecting me because at the end of the day, it ends up not happening like 50% of the time. So why think of things when you can just go with the flow? I don't mean, I, I, I think it is true before I go with the flow, but I have like a roadmap ahead of me. If I if I have uh, I had if I had roadmap before like um, I started my journey, I believe I would have been better than how I am. But I'm still grateful for where I've reached. So if I I just had gone with the flow, I wanted to you know I wanted to do machine in that time it was overwhelming. I stopped coding at the point because I was frustrated. There was nobody to help me. I was just, everything was just, everything just bow at one point like that, like, what's happening in my life? So, I began to rethink, um, so if I had, like, just come with the flow, learn what I had to learn, like, and listen to people, like, because I was, I'm, I'm a very shy person, okay, I was extremely shy, I'm still kind of shy at this point. If I had more started up courage to, like, meet up with more people, and you know, work with work to more people. I would have collected some advice from people that would have helped me because all the suffering that has happened to me, if I had like just sat down with someone and wanted of some wanted of courage to speak to that person, I would have the person would have told me. And the point of using ten maybe ten steps to achieve something that would have used only two or three steps. So yeah. Going with the flow and um, having courage to ask to meet people. All right, thank you, Pion. That was insightful. So, the next few questions we're going to Sadiq Akinjobi, also known as Geek Tutors. So, the question yeah, I would like to ask. So, the question is being part of GDSA. Being a part of GDS helping in a lot of ways. We all know that. So please can you tell us about how it helps you? That's a, that's a, that's a big question. So I think that firstly it sort of I think the first time I was going to leave the country and go outside of and go outside the country, it was on a GDSC related something, something. I think they had a physical summit for leads uh, in Ghana at that time. This was my first time of living the shores of Nigeria. And it sort of exposed me to, I think that's even, looking back, that's even like the most important exposure exposure that I think I had. Because you, you met people from different backgrounds that do not necessarily think like the way I do or the kind of background that I have. So different backgrounds, different beliefs. And yeah, so I think that was like the, that's one way. And then it sort of made me understand that the world is bigger than Lagos, or it's bigger than Mushi, or bigger than Yaba, right? And I could see things from other perspective. The other thing is that uh, the other time that I needed to go somewhere, no matter was the time I went to Nairobi, and I don't think I paid one naira for hotel and transportation because I had GDSC members and GDSC leads I was meeting with, and I was relating with, and then all my stay was just fresh for me. So that's one way. Uh, the other way is that in terms of impact is in my own professional life. Uh, most places, right, uh, putting, I think that the work that I currently do today for Google is, I think that if I was not a GDSC lead, I honestly do not think that I'm the out of all the people that I know in the tech ecosystem that does, that can do what I do. I do not think that maybe, okay, maybe I know what I do, right, because I'm, because I'm good at my work, but I think that there are other people that are also deserving of it. But I think that what sort of gave me an extra edge was also being part of GDSC and <laughs> I was also being part of GDSC and sort of trying to um, 
part of the issue that I have with the program. I hope that answers the question. Yes, it does. It's good. Yeah. All right. All right. Stops. Stops. All right. So the next question is: If you could go back in time, what are the things you would have done differently as being a part of GDSC as being the last? one of our past lead of GDSC. So what would you have done differently if you could go back in time? Wait, sorry, was that question for me or for you? Yes. No, it was for you. It's for you. Um, I can't remember when I was GDSC, it was a long time ago. But I think that what helps is that I think I wrote a bit about my experience as a GDSC lead. So I think I can just skim back to the bottom of that. Um, because it was a long time ago. So I think that one of the mistakes that I share, I won't call them mistakes, some of the learnings uh, that I picked up along the way is that I'll probably have done well, it's been a long time. That's like three years ago. So many things have happened. But I think that what I would have do, done, or some of the things that I've, I picked up along the way, is that I've done more partnerships. Uh, I know that we, we did some partnerships, but I think that there were some things that we did not do in terms of deeper partnership with, with and sort of with other institutions, uh, both on campus and off campus. I also think that we've not still had, and I hope that uh, Anthony is going to be able to act it. I know that Fion did some work, uh, Chidi did some work, uh, building on what I did in terms of our Medilac uh, connection and sort of also opening up to other non STEM faculties. I know that we did some work with SOSA and uh, what's it called? This, uh, we did some work with SOSA. But sort of opening up with faculties like Medilag and other faculties is something that I look back on and I wish that we could have sort of done well. Uh, also, I know that we, we did a lot of storytelling in terms of pushing the pushing the brand uh, because GSC in Lag itself is a brand, right? Uh, but I, I did not think that we have like that clear social media strategy, but I've been seeing some designs and some strategy from um, Anthony's team, and I really hope that they sustain that momentum and continue to push it. I still don't think that we have a completed university website for GDS in Iraq. So I know that we didn't complete it at that time. So I wish that, okay, maybe we we probably completed that. Uh, I think that the final thing is usually uh, there's something at the GDS level, uh, past the global level, that I've been thinking about in terms of the, the journey from when, what happens when somebody joins the program? So you learn something, uh, you join the club, so you learn something. After you learn something, you now do, you do what's it called? You participate in the upper level of training, and then at the end of the upper level of training, we just leave you alone to maybe continue to build. So I think that uh, I, I'm also not proud that we did not like finish that, thinking about the whole journey process in terms of what happens after I have learned? Do you give me access to internship? Do you organize a career fair? Uh, we are doing something about it though on the regional level. And then hopefully what we are doing about it, we cascade onto all of the individual school levels. Now that I'm in a bigger capacity, so I can play with some of the creative ideas that I have and make some of those things happen. And by the way, I keep most of those things from that article because I can't remember. All right, thank you. So the next question is going to be for the both of you. But I'll go with Ifeo. So the next question goes does how did you feel when you get the when you got the invite to speak with the community today? So if you tell us how did you feel well, when you got the invite? I, I felt I felt was that in the spirit because I was like why do they called me that's <laughs> not Yes, I was, I, was, I was shocked. 
expressions. Yeah. yeah, so you are not expressing our invites. I know now. I was not, in fact, I'll actually to be honest, I was like, oh. No, let's say, let's say the truth. If you oh, ask, wow. I give you. No, that's just the truth, but ah. that's the truth for another day. I don't die. Oh, how, 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 did, how did you feel, Sadiq, when you got our invites? Uh, mommy, I wanted to first reject, though, because I had two other events at the yeah, same time. But um but i figured that that uh, i could still sort of make it work um i've been testing trying to present the, the same presentation in different places at the same time and i was happy like, i think it worked seamlessly fine so i think this is my ninth event today I, i'm not sure uh -huh. I'm today. are you serious uh -huh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, lot. Nine. yeah this is my ninth and i have two more meetings before i go and sleep on a saturday but yeah is all we do. I'm not like a female. Yeah. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. <laughs> so, Sadiq, so can you tell us more about your goals, future expectations, and share your ambition with you? Know, you're going to do the same thing too, but let's Sadiq go first. Honest truth, I know that a lot of people will tell you that, <laughs> and people don't like me for this. I'll be one day, we won't be in their company. And they asked me what they want to be in five years. And I told them I didn't have an answer. And it looked like, oh, um, so why are you like this? But to be honest, I do not think that far into the future. That's the first honest truth. I know that one thing I'm starting off is I'm, I'm starting out to be successful, right? I'm starting because I'm not. Awesome. One super certain thing is that so in terms of goals uh, i just want to excel i try to excel and thrive in everywhere i find myself so i didn't know that i was going to be in google at this point in time i know that i i know that i probably work in google i didn't know anything about it i didn't discuss it at one point but i didn't know it was going to be this soon because uh i don't know most of you might be aware i'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a copper quote and unquote so i'm still serving right so it's not i was expecting i would finish my service before the opportunity will come and all of that stuff but the opportunity came at an unexpected time. So I know that I've been a product of grace in terms of not I've been a product of grace, uh, in terms of unexpected grace. But at the same time, I try to just be consistent at what I do and try to thrive in everywhere I find myself. Uh what I just know is that next year, in terms of next year, I'll still probably still be at Google um and try to do better. Maybe after one year, I can try to expand my role and get a new opportunity let me not say outside of google before about that thing that i want to resign but get a new opportunity and continue to uh improve and grow myself uh other than that uh, i know that at one point i'm going to be a ceo one day um if i'm a ceo already uh and um uh, because they tried a ring i'm sure but you want me to lie for each other? Say, ah, looking at it in two years, I'll have 100 million. I don't know. I beg. Now, God, they run them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, all right. God, they run them. Thank you very much. So, before we move to Infium, please, I'd like to inform everybody that there's a feedback form. Kindly fill the form. So, because we expect everybody's feedback on the program. So, if you know, kindly, kindly share your goals, your future ambition with us. We'd love to listen to it. So, my future ambition, honestly, don't let me lie to you because I don't have it. It's just to be the best <laughs> of my future self, honestly. Because I notice that if you don't have like a wide range of, um, if you can't view something really wide, it's not good to have an ambition because you don't know if you are limiting yourself or not. The more I like advance in my um, in my tech journey, the more I see things and I want to do them right now. But um, the admission, uh, uh, yes, ambition. <laughs> the ambition I can say that I want to do is to be the best than my like my previous self. So over the years, I like gauge my growth in my year review. I have like a personal year review and a general one. So I look at it and I'm like, because I have like a list of things I should do in a year. I, I use like a month to think of everything. 
and I'm like, okay, I think I want to do this in the first quarter, second quarter, and like. So when I look at it, I've looked at there are some things that are recurring in it, which is something I've not done. There are some things that I've done. So it shows that I'm growing because there are some things that I, I could not believe I could do at this time. I even did it in the first quarter of the year. So um, it's just to be like a better better version of myself every year at least and I don't mean like 2x growth, I mean like 10x growth. So um again my future goals um yeah my future goal to be the best because if I say being the best is big, yes, but at least I know it's not it's, it's, it's better to me in my opinion than saying um oh I want to I want to be a software engineer at Facebook in the next two years. What if I don't become that? What if it's fine to have goals, but it's also fine if you kind of be realistic. So um, yeah, so that's just those are like um, the things that I just have like have to say about my goals, I'm, and I'm trying to be more realistic with my goals and my ambitions, so that I don't um, I don't limit myself or I don't I don't burn myself. What is that English again? Burn out. Yeah, I don't burn out myself once again. So I, I, yeah, that's that's like on my goals and ambitions. All right, thank you very much, Mio. Thank you, Gitu. So really appreciate we appreciate you guys for honoring our invite. This guy and never starts. Your speech has been insightful and so many things to learn from. We hope to be able to like call you some other time and you'll be there for us. I hope everybody has been enjoying the program and been gaining one or two things from what Sodi can if he has been saying. So the next agenda on my list is introducing our current lead of GDSC, Anthony Akpan. And he wants to inform us of the plan for this session and benefit to us to get from GDSC this season and session. So Anthony Akpan, also known as Chromates, kindly unmute yourself and let's Hi, All right. Hi. So, um, you guys, let me just share my screen. All right, all right, all right. It's kind of complicated because it did not, like, no, Google Meet are the limits. And so I'm currently hosting and I'm meeting. I'm sharing my screen over here. So, what's this? And now I'm talking on both. All right. Um, Anthony, what you should do is what screen are you sharing? I'm sharing the other Google Meet screen. So, oh, to the. Uh, what you can just do since you're the one presenting is you can share that slide, share the tab specifically in both sides, and then just unmute yourself. That's what I always do, Sha, to make it sync. I believe both so share the and my screen. All right. All right, guys. Um, so I'll be discussing the plans for the GTS in like what we currently have for this session. I'm coming here mental for screen. For screen mode. So introduction. Currently, I believe you guys got my mail when I um when I was selected as GDS lead. I sent you a mail and literally just spoke yeah. about what I already am. So yeah, in the mail, I'm telling you guys, and in my third year, <laughs> should be what should actually be graduating soon. So I can't admit more people there. The stress of currently like um going through the quarantine. I think few people have left. Well, my ID card is going to expire next year, so yeah, Asu, thank you very much. In the middle of campus experts, um, I currently started YouTube. I like contributing to open source. I like community work. Even though I'm not really, a lot of people that, knows me, that know me would say like it's a lie, but I'm not really outgoing per se. I do not really like crowd or damn per se. I like staying those. Um, I'm a full-time developer with over four years of experience and I mean, the GDS is about 
<laughs> Ops time, because I remember the open acrobat that I attended in first hackathon in the lag that I attended. And I was like, wow, wow, I made gig, I made gig, I made it. A lot of other people share. So, yeah, that's about me. This basically summarizes who I am. The students, front end developer, anime lover, one piece, as well as a computer. Then um, the team. So, after I was selected as the lead, we were meant to choose a core team. And I was like, how would I select the core team? Members? So, I put, in, put out a form and I was like, all right, all right, all right. I already knew how I wanted my team to go. I had already sent from previous stage and I was like, yeah, if I was selected as the lead, this is our own team. So, the structure I used in selecting team is. For my course team, I found a need for particular events and then allowed them to select their teammates. So the course team member just consists of leads that are out um, of their teammates. And I sincerely believe and hope that team, most of them are in business because I would, they would have to speak. So um, for the co lead, we have Sophia. Sophia, are you in this meeting? Can you say hi? And... Hi. Okay. Okay. So, um, Sophia, Sophia, can you let them, can you give a little bit of introduction about yourself, your level, your department, stuff like that? Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sophia Odiaste. I'm in 300 level computer science. Yes, I joined GDST like, let's say, over a year ago, two years ago, and it has been a great experience. I started with UI UX then. Now I'm into front end development. So yeah, I'm I'm glad to be part of this amazing community. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. All right. So Sophia is a code She handles basically the same thing I handle when I'm not available. You can talk to Sophia. She's quite in almost every group. Um I would discuss more on how you can contact her and how she can be of service to you guys, especially those in the community that shares posts. So they have a lot of groups. So um, next we have Dami. Is Dami in this meeting? She's the content Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? I'm on the tech one. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi, good evening. My name is Dami. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm a year three zoology student. And I don't think GDS, I think in year two, um, through my brother's influence, um, you know me. I didn't really even know what GS was about. But well, ever since I've joined, I'm not regretted. And like me becoming, or me, you know, working towards doing the content, with, I'm sure is like you just have not regretted joining GS. So um, I do front end. For uh, I'm majorly into. As as about the chat, um, Thank you. Alright. Mm, thank you, Danny. Then next we have the event leads. Um, I'm coming. Let me just about what content does. Content already and is everything content related. So social media posting, anything social media, LinkedIn, YouTube, everything, everything. Content already and sending of mails and a couple of other things. Anything that involves content, the content lead and it. And sharing at same point, the also um, community engagement. Also, you could have seen that thing. During, I think there was like a community engagement session. Yeah, that's content lead and that thing. So, event lead, event lead, currently, and do everything events related. So, this event, the planning, the speakers, the questions, the person hosting, the person recording, the in the event team, and the event lead is Asa. Asa, you need to listen. Asa, that's the thing. She's not in the chat. Yes, right. she was here earlier, right. but she has an issue. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Tobloba, can you meet your mic? Yes. Um, Tobloba, mute your mic. Can I please meet him? Is it not in this meeting? Hello. Yeah. Right, Zena, can you like give a quick introduction about yourself? All right. So, um, hi everyone. My name is Idris. I am the um, design team lead. I am a 400 level chemical engineering student at Unilag. I'm a product designer. 
I participate in some other communities in um, the Indian lag, such as ECX, and uh, right now I'm currently the engineers. So I am in charge of basically creating. That's um, all around me. Thank you. Right, so she's in charge of the team that currently creates graphical content for GDSC. And the content team and the event team. And basically, this team we work a lot together. So they write the content, she creates the graphic, they all the events. Of the collaboration. Then, next we have the position dedicated to the College of Medicine students. As Dick said, we are trying to incorporate other, um, other faculties, especially into the GDSC. And I think one of the most faculties would have to be the College of Medicine students. And so we have been dedicated to incorporating them better into the, um, in the GDSC community. Um, that's the Nela Alex. Nela, you on the score? Can you brief me to this? Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. So, I'm Nela Alex. Um, I joined GDSC. I'm doing the students working on the international student. The uh, I'm the young level from the whole life. And uh, um, um, this is from this that's how it's all over. Data on. Yeah, we have the program. Yeah, basically, sort of programs planned. Right? We also have like a timeline for programs that will be happening throughout the year. And the program lead is um, Manuel. Manuel, are you on the call? Okay. Anything you should do yourself? Yes. Yeah. Morning, Whenever you're talking, best of Lagos. And besides that, I'm also a data scientist. So I'm in charge of um, handling programs and partnerships. So if you have anyone to organize or you would love to. Or, um, so yeah, or if you want to. Come on, this guy really catch me. It's good. Well, oh. oh. we hope so. to the last thing. Mary, are you in on this call? Um, yeah, this man is good evening, everyone. Good like on your word. So, uh um, not to the um, I am Shukamata Emmanuel. So I, I am a back end engineer. Uh, going for about four years now, 300 every single can I it's like ever since my first day in university. Um, yeah, I'm a people person and I look forward to enjoying my issue. Alright, so you guys made the call saying you guys know who you should meet regarding anything you might have with you. It's how them are comfortable, we'll enter their DMs. I think if you go to the website, you should be able to see their contact info, drag them in now. Alright, um, so let's talk about the plans, the plans for this year. And how we, how we are going to try to make the company better, basically. So, um, firstly, we have tutorials. We plan to make the tutorials better, we plan on getting feedback, because I spoke to some people, some community members, and this is so I did a lot of complaining about tutorials, about how the tutorials were never really completed, I didn't, they didn't get access to kids. A lot of complaints, and I took that into account, and well, we created a system in which we'll be getting feedback, and which this tree system, you guys need to hear more about that later. Mm. 
in the totally do this probably briefly guys um career series so 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 you know as a strike has been i can't even remember how long i think yeah, I've been having problems. Yeah, I'm not like that. Students, a lot of us have been. Wow, six months. A lot of us have realized that some of us can't have come. We have been seeing some of us since, but we never actually did believe it. So as I said, um, you guys will stay back home and we decided to believe some of us actually scam. Then um, we tried finding jobs, tried applying. I know a lot of people reached out to me. A lot of people wanted to find out how. I I know I've read a lot of people's resume. Tried and as it said, I think the first of that would be on Wednesday. You guys will get later after this program, later tomorrow, you get an invite in your mail about the career series. Um, at least getting a job in tech, we'll have some events where your resumes could be reviewed. That's to write a better resume. You guys will send your resume, you would review it. You guys will send in your post, your sites will review it. So events like that that should actually increase your chance of getting a job. Because I know not everybody here, uh, we have beginners here showing the community, and we still have intermediate and we still have expert. And well, most of you guys are trying to find jobs, and it's part we, I actually want this to actually be one of the things that we actually take into account to try to help you guys get jobs and become independent, basically. Then the mentorship. So, for mentorship, we are currently working on a platform, the design team is currently working on a design for a mentorship web based platform. Which you guys will to sign up and we we'll get people from um Google, people like Gitutor, like Ifion, we we'll get GitHub campus experts, we we'll get GitHub staffs, we we'll get we we'll reach out to a lot of committees and also um other partnerships and um try to get as much experts in various fields to sign up. So you guys could actually be mentored and actually get advice from people that have already been through this and uh yeah, you guys could improve. Community engagement. So I've been with GSP for a very long time and the community has always not really been popping. People just come, post content, or, well, you guys do not socialize as much as I wanted it to be. And, but the content team is actually going to change that because we have events and activities planned out. Like Sunday, tomorrow, I believe there's a game night. So we have activities lined out to actually engage the community. And also, um, what I'm talking about community, so we have about four GDSC groups. We call it your medicine, group one, group zero, group one, and group two. So um, that's about four. And most of you guys are just in one, at least you guys should just be in one group. And because of that, when you guys post content in one group, it does not reach the rest of the group. And I believe you guys do not get as much traction on your post, on your tweets, on your LinkedIn, all of that. And it's when you guys post, I don't know how many people listen to this, but when you post, just tag Sophia. So here is on all the group and just so you call it. So if you wanted to reach the entire GDSC community, we are trying to yes, actually help you guys have that engagement. So tag Sophia when you post and she would help you repost it in other groups to get some more engagement. Then um college events in students, we need to engage them more. I believe Anila already has things planned, so I can't really talk much on this, but and love would have I have been attending some of their meetings and yeah, they have been working and we plans to engage you guys more community student and have you guys more involved in the community. Partnership, we have a lot of communities, a lot of um communities in Junla. We have IEEE, we have um, Microsoft, we have youth of experts. And I'm in a few of those communities, but I'm also in the GDSC. We plan on creating strong partnerships with other um communities, other brands, various bodies and try to make the community better. If you know any partnership or you know anybody that would like to partner you can reach out to me, Sophia, or any community members. And then feedback. The only way we can actually become better as a community is if we learn from our mistake and try to become better. And that's why, well, we are planning to get feedback from you guys for this event. You guys will get the link for feedback, um, for events, for programs, for any of the tutorials. Basically, everything here has like, a feedback from which you guys will try to like, actually do better. Based on each event, we will try to ensure the next event is better than the last. So yeah, those are the plans for this session. And regarding feedback, you guys can enter this link. You guys can enter this link, go to this link here. The GDSM, yes, you like, GDS, yes, you like the dev for slash feedback. And fill out the feedback for this event, I believe. For general feedback, if you have general feedback, event feedback, 
Yep, and um, just let us know how the event was helpful to you, or if it was not helpful to you, if it's a negative feedback, it's only positive feedback. We try to improve, we try to do better. That's all, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. All right, thank you so much, Kumit. Thank you. I've been able to see what you have for us this session and more. So the next ten minutes will be for Q and A session. So the questions will be directed. Some will be directed to Kumit. I don't know if Sadiq and if you are still here. I think some of the questions will be directed to them. But before. So please, if you have any question, just unmute yourself to ask your question. But I have like three questions here that I picked from the chat box. The first question I have here will be going to commit. And it goes thus. The person said, how do we connect with GDSC members on campus? And is there a Slack or Discord channel where GDSC students can communicate? Or maybe a WhatsApp group chat? Yes, so I believe um, someone in the event team should have been posting the link to join. When you click on the link to join, you should get the link to join the WhatsApp group chat. If you want to go to Slack, go to forward slash Slack. So GDS in the forward slash Slack, you get the Slack link. Forward slash Telegram, I believe you get the Telegram link also. So, um, yeah, for connecting to members, I feel like you're not in the group chats that's why you are not aware that there's actually a group chat in which you guys can actually just yeah socialize jump into some of the and be polite be kind be responsible so um i will just type the i will just type the link on the chat now in both places what if you need to join the chapter all right thank you so if you're is I here? Is any of it your mic? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this question is directed to you. Don ask that what advice will you give to a new member that does not have an area he or she wants to focus on in tech? Well, um, if you don't uh, join, the join the community or, or anything, I feel the first thing you should do is try to network with people first. Okay, then if they ask you, or oh, yes, there's no other thing that they do at meetups, they'll ask you, um, what's your name, what do you do? Then you can just have someone, and then if they ask you, what do you do? Oh, I'm still a newbie, and I'm still trying to find my way in tech. You, when you tell, that um when you tell that person the person can tell you oh um you can try this out you can try that out then you should also try, do self-discovery i know it sounds it sounds somehow but <laughs> you do so okay what that what you do self-discovery okay what do i like doing or what do i enjoy doing or do i like um, designing or do I, am i focused more on the logic part i mean i didn't know i i liked back end so i started doing it so that's one. I always, I always liked logic, but I, I wasn't too sure of like, oh, maybe it's back end. I was still doing some other things. But yeah. Then um, you have the, the, the like comment I said there will be um, there will be career series. So you can join those career series to um, listen to what people have to say. Yeah, and she listens to what they have to say. Okay, maybe they have like some tips to draw. You look at it, you go over it, you try to do some research, and yeah, you, you'll be fine with, with that. And then for resources, okay, let's say you won't finish. For resources, you can always ask on the group chat. Like, Kumi said again, you can tag him, you can tag Sophia, you can tag anyone. Um, we have resources, like we have resources and repository that. You can check out there are things like that. So yeah, just all those things I've said. I can't remember what I just said. All those things I've said and what I just said now. All right, thank you. I hope this answer your question, Yusuf. So the next question will be directed to Sadiq. So the question is how can I become rich like you? Okay, that was just that was just my So the main question is any tips on networking? Because 
it doesn't say it because he doesn't know how to meet new people so like could you like share a little bit of tips on how to network so i think that for me i think that from what has really helped in terms of networking right general tips to apply Oh. I think he left the he left abruptly. Okay. So maybe I think he will come back to answer the question. But before he come back, if you are do you have any knowledge of coding when you joined GDSC? Someone asked that. Oh uh, no, I do not. Uh, it was when I yes, uh, started um learning HTML or then I joined. So like, I didn't know, but I didn't want to be like to 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 start starting. And I only, yeah. I only had a phone. So it was yeah. when I joined. Yeah, yeah. And and yeah, I yeah. Could just, I could just like last like, last question. I could just give give an, an, an answer and and but if but if it should come back, come back and, and, and an answer. And, 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 and if you want to make a network with people, the first thing you should try to do is you should have like have like a summary of yourself. So when they when they ask you who was your name, so that so that. I mean, my name is Shia. Oh, oh. My name is Shia. I mean, I mean, this is okay. Okay, my name, my name is Shia. I just started, and I would love to. I'm looking for projects. You have, you have like, 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 like a mini interview. You know, I know, I do it. I have, I have like kind of, kind of recorded answers in your head. Once, once someone asks, try, try to like introduce yourself to them. And also, when, when you are doing, um, when you are doing, when you are doing virtual. Networking. networking. It's not that you not that you send the person I. I. If you send, if you send me, me I, I, you will not receive, will not receive reply. reply. <laughs> <laughs> what that what want, want to? What that want, what to, want okay, to? Okay, you say I. 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 Yeah, yeah, when I come, yeah, oh, yeah. My, my, hi, hi, my, my name is Ishio Oshie. I'm a back end developer, and I would I would love to next up to you. I've done this. It's possible. You just like like give give a proper introduction of yourself. Not just I. Maybe you have have any issues too. Maybe one one something is not working. What you can do? Oh, I also encountered this issue too. Like like, so that when the person go post your message once, you like you like post straight to the point. Person can answer you, not before you answer you want to answer you. Before you answer, 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 all right. All right. Okay. So, okay, so thank, thank you very much for your question. question. And, and back, back. So, so, so if you have answered the network question, question already, already, I don't know, I don't if, know you have, if you have it to send. No, no. Yeah, yeah. This question. Yeah, I just, I just dropped the same. You will not, you will not drop the main thing. The main thing. Okay. Okay. So let's have it then. I know. I know. I know. I think. For me, for me, I look, I look at it from trust. You can take the way out of Sapa. Hmm. What can, what you, can take you take that part or incorporate? I want to talk network and disconnect. Nice, nice one. Really? Really? In terms of networking, I ask people to say. Really? 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 Really?
carried my bag, my bag I've gone I've gone there. There. so so that networking, that networking is, is really, really in, in part, of part of what what value, value and, and how can how you, can you help this person, this person to take some take body, some body of their work, work or make their, or make their work, work easier, easier for them and make it and make happen, happen. That, that's, that's for that, that. So, so, when that. You so when you look, look at it from the place of value, of value it's really it's really 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 much easier and then i know that as i think i heard you saying it some people will come and message and say hi you know reply hello hello the next the next day they'll say how are you you go straight to the point hi my name is Fanny from Gajabia Mila. I want, I want X, and X and Y and Z. And Z. Um, um, when you, when you put it that way, I know that some people say, I don't go straight to the point, but you, you introduce, introduce yourself, yourself a, a kind of, kind of value that you, that you can give, and then you go, and then you go straight, straight to the point on, on how, 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 how what you want to do. But ultimately, but ultimately what, I what I think you should be thinking about, about whether you are the higher person or you are the lower person in that relationship, relationship matrix, is figuring, is figuring out what value, value, value do you bring to the table and how, and how can, you can you be useful in that in that, in that, that matrix. matrix. But that, but that's, that's, that's like the maximum, maximum tip. tip. So, so looking at what you can give, don't always think about what you can take, what you can take, what you can take. How that answers the question. Yes, yes, it does. It does. Thank, you, thank you very much. So the next, so the next question will be directed to, to uh, current, currently commit. So someone, so someone asked that, asked that can, we can we join the team, like design, like design or, content or content team? How possible, How possible is that? Um, I believe if you want to join the team, you should direct me on the should direct, should direct me on group chat. Uh, um, as I said, as I, said I, I did not select. I only selected, selected it. Said, so it's not the same. It's not, it's not selected the same. But so joining so joining team would actually team depend on your, who your team is. If your team did one start, then sure. sure. Message, message them. I will gladly send you their number. Just tag me on the group. I will send you the team leads number. Message them. Tell them you want to join. They accept you. Don't don't they will tell you why they do not. So be a team is because they don't want to distract people. So it depends. Depends. Each team has different team leads, and the team leads decide which ones they are sending to me. All right. All right. I hope this is a question. So back to back to this question. This question is directed to us. We do it. Along the line, line. Person, person said, said what's the what's faith, of faith of people, people who are done, done with Simi Lag but want to be part of the community? community. Seems, like Seems like there's a high concentration of presence, presence on the graduates. So is it possible for alumni? Yeah, so, yeah, so, so alumni can, can be a part of PDS. I know, I know that, for example, uh, some, uh, some of the members that we have, I think some of you know them, so people like Ashenze, uh, who, uh, spend who spend their Microsoft, Microsoft Bakari, uh, uh, oh, myself, myself uh, uh, what's, what's, should I put that name first, Kupsha? They, they have all these big groups that are past you, that are past you, that are past you, that are all of 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 So, you can definitely still be a member, right, and still be a part of the community, and still get advantage. Don't look at it from Yes, yes, of ah, ah. Uh, uh, most most yeah, people here yeah, they are students. Look at it look from, at it from the place of value that, that you want to gain. I think that's that that because they are on strike, strike and, and you know, as students doing their thing. Most of most of the activities is even still online. So, so you don't even know, know, know what's going. So, so they, they don't like really like no. They don't they don't know who you are. So you can be seventy five years old and still be part of the community and learning all of these different things from from the bottom of the house and being a part of that community. I guess, I guess that answers, answers the, question. the question. All right, all right, thank you. Thank you. So, so, so Chrome, so Chrome, it, this question is directed to you. So, so said, so said and two members on payroll. Um, you check the chat as Geek was mentioned, and I think um, Israel, Israel mentioned members, members and, and yeah, yeah, come to the come to the correct people. Um, um Israel, what Israel, what's the member? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want you want to be able 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 to be all right, 
um, 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 no, 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 most most challenging, challenging moments. moments. Also, yeah, what, yeah, what advice would you give to a member to make sure they come board well? So the question is, the same one. Jesus Christ. Um, um, challenging moment, moment was was networking network 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 you have to you have to talk to people because there are like tons of people there are people that have seen their name somewhere these people are like big people not not talk to them so that's like my most challenging event how to like approach people was i was happy that um so part of the virtual at some point because i was able to talk to people more like talk to talk to people more confidently in then the second, second part, part how to, to onboard on yourself, yourself properly in, um, in um, enjoy, enjoy the community. The community. Well, well, I think I, think I, I onboarded, onboarded myself, myself successfully in the community. In the community. So, I would so just, I would just, I would just tell, tell you why I did. So when, so when I joined, I, joined, I, I introduced, introduced myself. myself. When I, when I introduced myself, myself um, I, I met so I tried, I tried to meet people. people because I only knew, I only knew one, or one or two people in DSC at that, at that time. time. I think DSC is So, so um, um, I only knew, I only knew like, like two to two three, three people. people. So, because I knew, I knew one, one person. person. So then time, time have, they like, have like three top three top persons that are dragging me. I was like, oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to meet another set of coders. Engineers. Engineers. So, so I use that one. I'll go. See the place. I'll, 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 I'll use that one to know school because I was still a new student. I also use that one to know like more people. So it's so like, it's like join, join, introduce, introduce um, and like, like network with people. That's how you, that's how you can. To me, to me, I'm just sharing my own experience. That's how you can support yourself to like um the community as a new member. Thank you. <laughs> so when I when I need to take the um, screenshot, <laughs> oh, you can even can even have a smile. Alright, so All right, Solomon, so when I take the snapshot. snapshot. You have your question now. Kindly mute your mic and ask your question. I'll be taking it. I'll be taking it like five seconds. Solomon, I'll be taking the snapshot. I'm just thinking one, two. All right, I'll be this guy. All right, so can you meet your mic and ask questions? So you can get to answer your question. If you are here, come to me. And any other person that. You have to ask questions. Uh, so, 
Okay. Okay. Um, good, um, evening. good evening. I am, I am Abdullah by name, and, and the question I have is to um Anthony, Mr. Anthony, also, so the question is that um as some of us have gotten, gotten this job to be one of the um GTSC um court team members. So my question now is that how do we get to connect with them? Like how do we get to connect with the member we are the um lead we are under, like the team we are under? Like the head of the team, how do we get to connect to them? So that's, so that's, my, that's my question. So, so if I, I what's your, what's your question correctly? You, you want to know how to connect with um, um, deep, deep for a particular, for a particular team. team. If you're on the if group, you're on group chat, chat, just tag me. I believe, I believe on, on the group chat. Let me check on the group chat. Group chat. So, so I've sent, okay. sent me. The contact of the contents need and the design design is just the idea of 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 the idea for we'll send, we'll send the link now on the group chat and, and okay, okay. Just, just the link up. sign up sign up and, and you'll we'll be able to well, join, the join the whatsapp group once you get once it, you get it just tag me thank you very thank much, you very much. Much. all right so all is there any other question, question or call it call it you're up Alright, so yeah, back, 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 back to um Bakari for the game games. There's a ten minute game game stroke based based on the event. So Bakari can you mute your mic? Take charge. So, so um, yes, um, yes, how this is going to go. go. I'll read, I'll out, read the out the questions and, and the first, the first person, person to get it get right, right chat, chat. chat. So, so the winners, the winners get, their, get prizes their prizes from. from uh, so, is so everyone, is everyone clear, clear on the. Win? Okay, okay, so let's, so let's start. Um, so the, um, first, so the question first question here is, here is what, what dates did um, um, Geek to become, become the GDS? You have to you be have very, very specific. specific. Don't, just Don't just give the years. You give, you give dates, the months. The months. Okay, okay, so, okay, so we, we have our first winner. winner. I'm back, I'm back early. Early. I'm going to have to check books. books. Oh. What's, what's, what's the answer? What's the answer? 1919. Because, because, because we have like a call on two screens. Like this, this meeting is currently going on on two commits. You said you have, 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 Okay. It was it was the correct answer. Okay. 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 Six. One went. Six. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, so the second question was was the first need of DDSC? Okay, okay, so we so have the winner, Uluwa to Miloba, and this so calm. Sorry if I'm, I'm not getting the transition correctly. Yeah, this so calm. And now, and now the, final the final question. question. How many DBSC clubs are in the world? Which <laughs> Okay, okay, so, so we, we have the winner already. already. Um, um, just spam Joe. 231, yes, that's, that's correct. correct. You say in the word. You say, you say in the word. In the word is not correct, though. You say, I don't know if that's 231. The word. You can make DGS clubs in the word. It said, it said 231 in Africa. In Africa. In Africa. <laughs> No, no one can get that number. number. It's, it's more than that. Because we don't have the exact number. number. So, no, no, application isn't just closed. So, some people are still selecting their leads. So, I don't have the number. But I think you can see the person that said 231. So, let's just say we are talking about it. It's more than 150. Don't worry. It's more than 150. But you can give the person that said to that one because I'm assuming that you meant, that you meant uh, uh, Africa, Africa, which is what I shared in my slide. Yes, 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 in Africa. Sorry about, sorry about that. In Africa. Um, um, please, please help someone. someone is taking notes. So, so we, have, we have three winners here. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to give. I don't. I don't. Know. <laughs> let me check. Let me the check the other. other. Okay, okay. Start you in this group. You mentioned, and I'm also, and going, I'm also to going to give so so three, three from, from the first two minutes, and you start your from this group. You just you just tag me on the on the group chats or, or send your names. So that's your because your answer is the best. The only person in the second call that actually participated in the question is that she was pretty close. So so yeah, three three plus that's that's four. So four so four people give away give away money as money as finish. So, so. Alright, so we come to the end of the inspection. What, what, what? Alright, guys. Right, guys. So, so our, our next, next agenda, agenda is having our Samuel, Samuel, Samuel lead and your Alex, Alex, Alex to talk to about. Talk about Samuel GDSC. Enola, Enola, Alex, Candy, and Mutual. So, as well 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 as
and in, and introduce yourself as well. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Okay. Hello, right? Hello. Hello. And kind of that 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 we want to make a lot of the things, but I'm not the idea of not going to solve both the ideas I've just cast in it. And we also want to learn about each other's characters. So like I said, I want to know if I was a... I joined the session during the session session, and that was when I was in the group for the team, so I was like one of the... I was the first... I was, I was um, the first I stand for the first for the group and then, and then I met the work of the amazing two balls and all of that and uh, uh, since then I did a job uh, over uh, 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 16 years of experience in tech now and and hands off my job and you know I'm trying to also do the first now so uh, um, wonderful progress so, so there's a community, community uh, uh, I'm actually so the hundreds of the of the of the the of the the of the the of the of the the of the the of the 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 of the Almost I'll just share, share, share the feedback. So I want, so I want to see a lot of feedback, a lot of responses, so that, so that uh, uh, now we can find out uh, uh, know, uh, know what you guys want. So, so the whole thing is just to do all of this thing I've mentioned and solve all of this challenge and this and even more. And I believe that there's a whole thing about CMD and this and, and uh, um, <coughs> so I want to like to share this platform, platform and, and I'll share, I'll share them on the I'll share, I'll share them, them now. Um, um on on the comment share. Yeah. I'll, I'll can just share them. So I'll share them. Uh, uh, so so that's that's my field. Them just to dance my field. And um, um, there, 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 there are options for you to feel so 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 and let, and them, let us know uh, uh, your, your, your opinions and what you want to like to say. And they just know I want to write and talk to them and make sure that this thing that I know I'm telling them that 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 I'm
All right. All right. Thank you. Thank so you much, so much, Angela. So, so before, before the closing remarks, remarks okay. there's, 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 there's a question. I directed. Okay. Okay. Paul Adiroju. Can you meet us and ask a question? Okay, sorry, 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 and, and great, great work, work um, in your in your Alex. Alex. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm, also, I'm also your students in college, college, college of medicine, 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 most of my Most stuff, of my stuff in my own industry, 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 I'm organizing, I'm organizing so it's right, right, that, 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 that are looking um, for um, 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 uh, um, uh, uh, use, use technology, right, to solve challenges. Yes, it's a nice thing. You can have, I don't know, like, like, I don't know, like, sort of, sort of partnership with GD, these organizations, organizations um, because, um, because they have actually, actually organized, organized like three or four different, different editions, editions of that program, and I think it's going to be a full, full um, collaboration. It's going to be, going to be because for that will that will be able to get a lot of um, um, skilled, skilled guys, guys like skilled um, skilled guys, guys coming in, you know, and the medical, medical students to so on so on. So much they have, they have, they can create beautiful products. Who knows, who knows what can um happen happen in the future? All right, All right, so, so um, um, um well, thanks, well, so, thanks much, so much. So, so there, so, there. Okay, okay, lots, lots, lots of our business, and, and there's a lot there's of a lot to change, 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 yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, 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 ネットネットあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあるあ
Longer side, longer side, yeah, 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 um, yeah, um, yeah, what, what the, the program, program did. This, this is, is something, something the program did be handling, and also and because of recent video. So, 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 so that, that they can actually, can actually testing the test and actually, actually reduce, reduce candidates, candidates that would actually, would actually participate in social challenge. I believe with enough mentoring and tutorials and having like a structure, we should be able to produce participants in group social challenges. So yeah, so yeah, we updated. We updated. I think that's our general, general, general so, so we have like, we have like a very very little time, time to cover cover a lot a lot. So what does that? Yeah, yeah. And, and um, um can you can you think so, so, so um, um the list of the winners are the same to me. I believe you guys, believe you guys want, want something shifty on the on the group and just just start or just. Say I, I enter my enter my demo. I so so me see see me. I will just go with this because I because I can't pronounce it. Oh gosh, we um Joe Joe Tisayo. Tisayo. Four of you guys, you guys should actually message me. If you are not on the group chat, if you are not on the group chat, give me give me like how would you not be on the group chat? Why why? So that's 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 that. You are not in the, the group, group chat. I don't, I don't <laughs> get that much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Join the group chat, chat and, and message me when you do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this team is team not on this meeting. This meeting. This meeting. Take me. I see me. I see you. I think I think we have a network is for discussion keeps on Kenan Kenan on looking. Thing I think I used to hear. No, I think 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 I your, your, your career sector. Get more info. Your, your, um, thank you, 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 thank